Hi, it's kind of exciting. We're going to talk about acids and bases. Um, so our three theories of acids and bases, the first theory came from Arrhenius, and this is in the 1800s, super, super uh, simplistic, if you will. He said that an acid produces a hydrogen and a base produces a hydroxide. Now I say it's simplistic, but in the 1800s, it was impressive to come up with that. Um, now in like a um, honors chemistry class or even a general chemistry class uh, in high school, you will see this often. When you see that hydroxide, you go, oh, it must be a base. And if you see the hydrogen attached to a nonmetal, you go, oh, it must be an acid. Um, this though was not comprehensive. It was too uh, simplistic and it didn't explain everything that we observed with acids and bases. So it was in the early 1900s, super interesting, two men, Bronsted and Lowry, um, they were each working on this and within a nine month period, they both came up with the same answer. They were completely independent of one another. Because they um, came up with this fabulous uh, theory, lots of evidence to support it and did it independently in such a short amount of time, um, released it, each released it, they both got credit for it. So this is called, I know it's a mouthful, but that's why it's um, a, a hyphenated name. Bronsted and Lowry both get credit for discovering this. Um, this is where you and I live. If you are doing your first year chemistry in college, if you're doing AP chemistry, IB chemistry, this is the theory that you and I are going to use. Here it is, an acid donates a hydrogen and a base accepts a hydrogen. I could also call that a proton. You can look at my um, video on um, vocabulary for acids and bases to help you with that. Um, so memorize this. This is where you and I are going to live. Um, last thing that I do want you to make aware of, we have some more complex acids and bases that even the Bronsted Lowry was too simplistic to explain. Um, and so uh, Lewis is the one that came up with this idea, Lewis acids and bases. An acid accepts an electron pair and a base, ex um, excuse me, donates. There we go. <laughs> uh, the base donates the electron pair. I know that this looks contradictory is actually just a perspective change. Okay, so a little shift. Um, for AP chemistry, this is all you need to know. Um, and, and for a high school chemistry, that's all you would need to know. I'm not going to teach you anything else about Lewis acids and bases other than the definition. It seems opposite, but trust me, when you get into your more advanced college classes, it all makes sense. It's just looking at um, the, the acid and the base from a slightly different perspective. So really, here's your focus, Bronston, Larry, acids and bases. Uh, that's the theory that we'll use. All right, thank you. Check out the acid-base playlist for more information. Thanks.